Hello everyone, my name is Loni Carmel Jr. I am a student in the College of the Marshall Islands. Currently, I am enrolled in the Marine Science Certificate Program and an intern as well. My supervisor is named Kendall Romani and he is an environmental consultant and an instructor for the College of the Marshall Islands. The department is called STEM. This is my table of contents. I will first discuss my aim. Second, talk about the importance of the program, then elaborate about the major weekly activities, and fourth, speak about challenges and how I overcame the challenges. Sixth, I will talk about the five recommendations that would improve the program, and lastly, talk about my personal experience. My aim is to strengthen viewers' perception about the Marine Science Certificate Program and enlighten others about the limitations that occurred throughout my journey. Lastly, encourage recommendations so that marine science could become one of the most influential programs in the Pacific. Marine science is very important because the program enhances knowledge about many different ecosystems. For example, the Ano documentary, I had no clue about sandbars, but as I researched more into sandbars, I learned how they are formed, what types of rocks they comprise of, and what are the benefits for sandbars. Marine science improves writing skills. When I enrolled into CMI, my writing skills were limited. But as I enlisted into the program, it helped me become a better writer for essays and report. The program encouraged professionalism. When I started this program, I was always putting inappropriate illustration on my presentation. This program has made me become more aware of the professional surroundings. Marine science teaches and exposes a lot of technicality, such as process and vocabularies that would be relevant in the future. It builds teamwork skills. So in order to get most of the projects done, we had to come together and help each other in order to proceed. It improves time management skills. I wasn't sure if I was able to juggle in turn with classes, but as I continue, I became accustomed to the work schedule. Major activities that I assisted with was the filming of the Hano documentary. Since the trip, the earliest that the crew got done was 9 p.m., but the latest is 3 a.m. I had to make a list of all participants who were going to Anno, build a rough draft script for the film, and create a list of items that are needed for the lab classes and marine science projects and MICS. I had to learn to improvise when things were needed last minute. One of the challenges I had to face was unreliable participants. For example, sometimes they don't show up or are late, but other times they will lack commitment. An example of lack of commitment is when one of the members would come to the meetings but don't contribute any ideas. Also, communications with others would be an issue. For instance, one of the individuals would misinform others about specifics such as what time is the transportations going to arrive. Another challenge we had was limited equipment, such as drones for better aerial view footages. The camera lacked quality. Most of the time when we stayed up late, the crew would complain about how hungry they are and would eventually go home because of that. I overcame the challenges. For participants, I had to learn to cooperate with them, and if I can't, I would seek counseling with my supervisor. For resource, I had to be more appreciative with what we had and try to work with the equipment. Recommendations for the program are full support, so I wish we could be more involved in activities where the fund wouldn't be restricting us. Frequently engaging in activities with the agencies. For example, more activities like the water quality training where we had some exposure to the professional fields. 
supporters attending marine science meetings. What I mean by this is I wish the higher ups would attend our meetings so that we would know what we're able to do. Interview candidates for executive positions. So we had a lot of past executives who were not committed. And I think in order for us to find committed executives, we would need to interview them first. Lastly, any paying activities halting until the project is finished. The participants should not be paid until the end because I realize most of would stop working as soon as they get paid. Personally, I think that the marine science is an underrated program that needs to be fully utilized by students. The program has been a big part of my life that I literally wouldn't trade anything for it. It is educational, influential, and needed in the Marshall Island. Climate change is slowly degrading our landmass from sea level rising, and I think that the Marshallese citizens need to become more aware of the situation. Marine science will equip the people with the skills necessary to combat against climate change. Thank you.